Given a state space formulation, x dot is equal to ax plus bu, y is equal to cx plus du, we can write this as a transfer function. Now, if we use the relationship that we have before, s is equal to the derivative operator. This comes for a system that's linear and zero initial conditions that if you take the derivative, you just replace that by the s operator. Then we have this. So this is the Laplace transform of this matrix here. Now be careful, I'm being sloppy with my notation. These variables are functions of time. These variables are function of s. So this is really s times the Laplace of x. This is really a vector, remember, that's a state space form. So it's the Laplace of every single variable in the state, x0, x1, x2, this is a constant A matrix, so it doesn't matter. This is, again, X is the plus of that. So now I'm going to solve for X. I bring the A over, and I'm dealing with matrices, so I can't just simply subtract SX minus AX because they're different dimensions. So to make these compatible and to make the math work out, I end up multiplying X times the identity matrix, so I can write SI minus A times X is equal to BU. If you don't believe me, you can go write yourself up a example of this and then follow through with the math to see how it all works out. Then solve for X by taking the inverse of both sides. And finally, substitute X up into this equation and solve for the solution we want Y. And so we have this solution here. This may not look like a transfer function, but it is indeed a transfer function. There's my variable s. It gets wrapped up in this si minus a inverse. Interesting to look a little bit more carefully at this si minus a. The relationship we're going to rely on is this one, that the inverse of a matrix is equal to the adjoint divided by its determinant. And we have the relationship that the adjoint of m is the cofactor of m transposed. We're not going to go into detail on how to calculate the adjoint. I'm just going to give you an example when we do a two by two matrix. A key to note here is that the adjoint of M is a matrix, whereas the determinant of M is a scalar. And we'll see how that plays out in just a minute. Here's an example, and I'm going to use the second order differential equation that we used in a previous video where we discussed state space matrices. Here is the differential equation, the corresponding transfer function, and the state space form which we've already derived. Remember, x is a vector. It is really composed of two parts, x0 and x1, my two states. So that's the derivative of those two states. This again is also a vector. I want to get from the state space formulation to the transfer function. Now I already know what the answer is, but I'm going to apply my formula that I derived earlier. The formula, again, is here. I'm going to take this system, where this is my A, B, C, and then D is zero here, matrices, put them into this formula, and I should come back to this transfer function. First, I'm going to compute SI minus A inverse. Here's SI minus A inverse. Here is S, the scalar times the identity matrix I, minus A inverse. That, again, is the adjoint matrix divided by the determinant. So following through with the math, I have this. Now I have a two by two matrix. I take the determinant. Next, I need to find the adjoint. For a two by two, the adjoint can be found by swapping the diagonals and then changing the signs on the off diagonals. That's written here. Then I need to divide that by the determinant. Now I have the inverse. Next, I need to pre-multiply by C, post-multiply by B. Here are my B and C matrices. Here are the values. This is the C matrix. This is the B matrix. This right here is my SI minus A inverse, this whole thing. Multiplying together, I get this value right here, and simplifying, I'm left with this. Right there's a solution. Scroll up, which is the same value I have here. Should be no surprises. But this lets you go from state space formulation to transfer function formulation. And in MATLAB, there are functions which let you convert back and forth between transfer functions and state spaces with one command. An interesting result that we get from this is this value right here. This is the determinant of SI minus A. It came from when we found the inverse. Note that that shows up down here in the denominator. That is the characteristic equation. And in fact, the roots of the characteristic equation are the poles of the system. And this is the same as determinant of SI minus A. And so in state space form, we have that the determinant of SI minus A equals zero gives us the poles of the system. And if you remember your linear algebra, you'll also note that this is the same as finding the eigenvalues of A. So in state space formulation, the eigenvalues of the A matrix give us the poles of the system.